people up in Liberty are cleaning up after storm damage there. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock takes a look at that ongoing effort. We're in the historic Doherty neighborhood of Liberty, not far from downtown. You can see there is a crew right now putting a tarp on this home, nearly 135 years old. A giant oak tree fell on it, leaving a major mess. A corner of the upper roof was torn off the home and the entire lower roof was knocked off the structure and crashed onto the front porch. The tree fell on your house. Jeannie Cruz says her daughter and son-in-law own the home. They were in town eating at a restaurant when it happened. It's a blessing that they weren't here or even in the house. Live here. There's more damage in Liberty's Canterbury neighborhood. Kaylin Cawthon was home and watched the storm with high winds knock over a tree in his front yard. Today he was on the roof removing limbs and saw where a spear-like broken branch gouged a hole in the roof. The windshield of his pickup truck was also smashed. Oh man, uh, the kitchen ceiling is going to have to come out, re-insulate it. It seemed a little bouncy on the roof, so a couple of joists might have to get replaced up there. Just before 8 last night, high winds knocked over the tent for Dishonest Don's fireworks in Riverside. After getting help from competitors, Dishonest Don's was back in business this afternoon. I mean, half of the people you see are from other tents. While the fireworks stand was back in business in less than a day, it's going to take quite a bit longer for many Liberty homeowners to get all their repairs done. They moved in here a year ago and they've been working on the house ever since and they just finished everything up inside. With more rain on the way, damaged roofs like this one have to have tarps to prevent interior damage to the homes. In Liberty, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. A crews have also been out today in Liberty restoring electricity after trees knocked down power poles and lines.